You can't get where you desire to be if you don't know where you are. And you can't get started if you don't know where you want to be. This is why it's so important that you not only understand your big vision and your big goals and big desires and dreams for your life, but that you're also able to understand where you are currently. What I see more often than not when working with women is I see that they're doing really, really well in one area of their life and they feel like they're winning, but really they're dealing with a lot of resentment or overwhelm or exhaustion because the other areas of their life are lacking. You know the deal. You work a nine to five, but then you stay over because you really want to impress your boss, but then your family or home life or relationships are struggling. Or you know the deal. You started your business and you're a solopreneur and doing everything, but then you're not really making money because you've lost all your time to that. You're not enjoying time with friends. So the other areas of your life are lacking as well. But what if I told you that you could find a healthy balance of your goals as well as fun and just living your best life? Well, the good news is you can. A big mistake that I see that people often make when setting goals is they know what the goal is, but they don't really understand the objective or the why behind the goal. So they may say, I really, really want to make 10K a month. But the reason that they want to make 10K a month is because they want to be debt free or because they want to have a little bit more time freedom or because they'd like to travel. Or they may say something like, I want to go back to school. But the reason that they really want to go back to school is because they want to feel appreciated or valued or needed or desired in their current position. And so we go around and we seek, we seek after these goals that we want to accomplish. But what we're really missing is the objective or the real reason behind it. And the best way to find that is to really understand who you are at the core and to understand your full picture as it relates to your life. This is why with my clients as well as in my own personal life, I do life audits. Now, if you've never done a life audit, let me explain. It's basically where you're looking at your life as a whole picture and you're auditing each area of your life to see where you're doing great, where you're struggling, what shifts and changes you can make, and how you can create a more holistic picture and a more balanced view of your life. Now, I'll be real with you. The process isn't necessarily easy. The process isn't even necessarily fun, but it's so worth it. Think about it. Like, if you know that you're off balance, if you're questioning all the time, is, is this all that life has to offer? Then you're probably in a really unbalanced place. You're probably really overwhelmed. You're probably close to burnout, but it doesn't have to be that way. This isn't all that life has to offer. If you're willing to take a step back and reflect on the whole picture and then start to make shifts and changes from that place, then ultimately you can make a change in your entire life. The good news is you don't even have to try to do this alone. I have a totally free guide that helps you to go through the life audit process and to leave with a vision statement for your life where you're taking that big vision, the big goal, that key objective that you really want to accomplish and creating a vision statement that you can start to take consistent and intentional action towards so that before you know it, you're designing and creating and living a life that you desire and deserve. So if you're ready to join me, what's the hold up? Use the link below so that you can join me. And I cannot wait to see you on the inside. Until next time, I will chat with you guys later.